Hey guys, it's Noreen here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this embroidered nail art look, so stay tuned. You're going to need a drop of C&D shellac in Wildfire, and I'm just using the Yours Halo Lid uh, as my palette today. And then you want to pick up your smallest nail art brush. This is so intricate, the smaller the better. Next I'm going to show you how to do the stitch like motion. So all you're going to do is you're going to pick up a little dot of that shellac and you're literally just going to press it onto the nail. So you're going to pick up a little dot and press it. You can see this creates a little bit of a tapered tip that looks a little bit like a stitch. If you want to reverse it, just reverse your brush and press down. It's as simple as that guys. The hardest part of this nail art look isn't actually creating the stitches. It's getting your spacing right. So here's a good little tip. Start at the top and create three petals like this. Next, you're gonna to move to the bottom of the nail and you're gonna create a mirror image of these three petals. So you're gonna do one in the center and press down. And then you're going to reverse the brush from the up top so that it looks like a mirror image. And you're just gonna draw another little petal like that. Then you're gonna judge where is halfway between these two points and that's going to be your next petal. So you're going to push down and create your petal. Create a cross-like shape. So you're going to push down again, then you're going to move to the side and push down and up. Make sure you've got a nice little bit of space in between each one of these petals. That's what's going to create that stitch-like look. If they're too close together, it won't look the same. So now you're just going to go in between each one of these petals and if you're not brave enough to keep going you can freeze cure this on the number one setting in the LED lamp but that's completely up to you. I'm feeling brave so I'm just going for it. Now once I did have these done I did flash cure it. Flash cur curing just helps um, to make sure that nothing is going to move so if you accidentally tip off it then it's going to stay where it is. So here I've just changed colour. I'm using c and shellac in Pretty Poison. I am doing two small little stitches just under these petals to create the underneath of the flower. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the bottom, just reversing the direction of them because it's a mirror image. Once I've got these two little stitches in place, I'm going to create another long stitch. And this is just going to act as the stem of the flower. So the way you can kind of think of it is almost like um, the bones of a hand. That's what I was kind of thinking of and just trying to create that little bit of separation between each stitch. And I think um, it's time consuming, but I think it gives such a great effect. So here I've changed colour. I've changed to Mambo Beat and I'm going to do the exact same flowers that we've done on the top and the bottom just by creating three small petals. And you can see now that you've got the top, the bottom and the centre done, it's much more um, easy to make sure that your spacing is correct. So you're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to paint in some petals on the bottom as well, just making sure everything's spaced evenly. Once I've had those petals done, I'm going to come back in and I am going to draw the stems again. So I'm still using the Pretty Poison Shellac and I'm still using the exact same technique. So just creating the stitches is literally just dipping and pressing with your brush. It is quite time consuming, like I've said, but it's just so pretty looking. If you're into anything vintage looking, then you're gonna love it. So I have a little bit of space here left at the side. So what I'm going to do is do some leaves. So the way I've done it is I've just created a small thin line with the Lacente S1 brush. And then I've come back in with that original D2 brush and I'm just going to stamp the way we've been doing it the whole way, just pushing and pressing. Once you've got that side done with three more little petals on the other side, uh, you're just going to repeat the same steps on the other side of the nail to make sure everything is completely symmetrical. Once you've done that, we're just going to place a tiny little bit of um, yellow in the middle. This one is Sun Bleached from C&D Shellac. And once that's done, you're going to cure it on the 2S setting. Once it's cured, you're going to coat the whole lot of it with a top coat of your choice. I've chosen the C&D matte top coat. 
and once that comes out of the lamp you're ready to cleanse with IPA and your nail look is complete. So I hope you've liked this, it's something a little bit different. Uh, if you have, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.